See, this is five questions we are going to see. Yeah. Question number 40. Question number 40, you see, the critical temperature of water is higher than that of O2 because the H2O molecule has these options are given. No, no, not 0.821. It you should be as SI. So it should be 8.314. So what is the value of formula of critical temperature? 8A by 27RB, correct? Yeah. So H2O molecule, you see, we know H2O dipole moment of H2O, H2O is a polar molecule. Dipole moment is not equals to zero, but for O2, the dipole moment is zero. It is non-polar. So the value of A, we know the value of A for H2O molecule is greater than to that of O2. That's the one thing. Okay. And it is given in the question that the critical temperature of water is higher than to that of O2 because of H2O. Obviously, if A is more of H2O, then its critical temperature will also be more. That is why, because water is polar. Polar means what? It has dipole moment. Hence, the answer for options for question number 40 is D. Yeah, this is the answer we have. Okay. Question number 41. The pressure exerted by one mole of CO2 is given, assuming that the volume occupied by CO2 molecule is negligible. Since it is given that the volume occupied by CO2 molecule is negligible, so we know B is for the volume of gaseous molecule. So B is zero given in this question. You need to find out A, that is a Van der Waal constant for attraction. So we know the Van der Waal equation, P plus A by V square for one mole into V minus B is equals to RT. B is zero. So this expression becomes P plus A by V square into V is equals to RT. And when you solve this, you'll get V square into P plus, or sorry, I'll write down first this thing, minus R into T into V plus A equals to zero. So we'll get this quadratic. So when you solve this, you'll get V is equals to minus B, that is RT plus minus B square minus 4ac, so 4 into a into p root over of it, divided by 2a, that is 2p. Okay. Now what we need to do here, since it is given that pressure and temperature is given, so for a given pressure and temperature, volume must be constant. So it must have one unique value. For unique value of V, this must be equals to zero, plus minus term. This must be equals to zero. So from this, what we get A is equals to R square T square by 4P. The value of R is 8 point. Achha, okay. Here, huh, fine, fine. Okay. I... Achha, for second one, you were talking about Kaushik. Okay. My bad, Kaushik. So for the second one, it's fine, 0.821, because pressure we have, no, atmospheric only will take. In this question, question number 42 will take our SI value. Okay, 8.0.821 only will take, because pressure we have in atmospheric, correct? So R is 0 0.821 here into T square is given 273 square divided by four times P is 34.98. See, the pressure is given in ATM. So obviously we have to take liter ATM per mole per unit, okay? So when you solve this, you'll get the value of A. And the value of A you will get here is 
3.6 around 3.6 you will get 3.59 so which option is correct option a this is correct here okay now question number 42 relative humidity of air is 60 degree air is 60 degree and the saturation vapor pressure of water in air is 3.6 kilo pascal okay the amount of water vapor present in 2 liter of air at 300 kelvin theek okay? hai so pressure is given pressure is 3.6 yeah you can take that 60% right so pressure is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal okay volume is given volume is 2 liter 2 into 10 to the power 3 sorry minus 3 meter cube and temperature is 300 kelvin given in the question we'll find out the mass of water from pv is equals to nrt so mass of water would be mass of h2o would be p into v into molecular mass divided by r into t so all the value will substitute 3.6 10 to the power minus 3 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 18 divided by 8.314 SI unit into 300. Okay, so when you solve this, the mass you will get around 52 gram. Okay, relative humidity is given. R H is 60 degree. That is 60 percent is the limit re relative humidity we have. so this is the mass of water so the amount of h2o we have here in this sample amount of h2o is 52 of 0.6 60 by 100 that is 31.2 gram which one mother हाँ वहां पे करेक्ट या या इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन सी द प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर इज कॉन्स्टेंट करेक्ट इट्स गिवन सो फॉर ए गिवन पी एंड टी वी मस्ट हैव वन वैल्यू ऑफ वॉल्यूम वी कैन नॉट हैव मल्टीपल वैल्यू ऑफ वॉल्यूम राइट फॉर ए गिवन प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर सो इफ वैल्यूम हैज वन यूनिक वैल्यू इट मस्ट बी पॉसिबल वेन द प्लस माइनस टर्म वुड बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड दैट इज वॉट द कंडीशन आई है correct so question number 42 the answer is this okay 43 what is the answer three by two molar mixture of this and this means what in the question it is given molar mixture of number of moles of n2 by number of moles of co is equals to 3 by 2 given in the question at 500 pressure due to hole in the vessel the gas will leaks out so it would be what molecular mass of co divided by molecular mass of n2 root over of it into the pressure of Okay, 
the pressure of co we have n2 here no so it will be the pressure of n2 divided by the pressure of co okay we need to find out what the composition mixture of effusion of this okay so we have this number of moles 3 by 2 so if the 500 bar is the total pressure and the ratio of number of moles is 3 by 2 it means pressure of n2 would be 300 because 3 by 2 we have and pressure of co will be 200 so n of n2 by n of co is equals to molecular mass of co is what what is the molecular mass of co 28 that divided by 28 root over of it into 300 by 200 it is 3 by 2 we get n2 by co is 3 by 2 so n co by n2 is 2 by 3 option d is correct here clear okay last one you see forty four the number of n two molecules present in one liter vessel at ntp when the compressibility factor is this okay z value is given so z is equals to we can write p v is equals to n r t p v by n r t so you'll find out number of moles and then you'll get the number of molecules so number of moles equals to what we get p v by z r t all the value you'll substitute because everything is given n t p the temperature would be two seventy three so this value the number of moles you'll get 0.037 so number of molecules would be what number of moles into na that is n into na which is 2.23 into 10 to the power 22 option b is correct here any doubt in this okay fine guys so for hydrogen you can you no know, solve all the questions of center module center module you must solve okay and crt you must go through once for hydrogen yeah i'll share the class note matlab okay i'll share okay so guys thank you so much take care bye